Okay, this is a demonstration of dark darkening copper using liver of sulfur. Um, the piece of copper that I have here is just a piece of chasing work. It's a top for a, a little box that I've done for a client. I uh, have, after working the copper, I've actually taken and cleaned the copper in a, uh, a cleaning solution, uh, polished it up, brightened it up with uh, steel wool. Uh, the liver of sulfur uh, comes as looks like a little piece of stone, yellowish in color, and has very definitely that, that sulfur kind of smell to it. Um, the proportions are one teaspoon of the liver of sulfur to 16 ounces of water. I'm, I'm using warm water here just because uh, it'll dissolve the sulfur quicker and also it will uh, make the reaction on the copper happen quicker also. I probably should have uh, taken and broke that up a little bit beforehand but I'll do that now. So you don't have to watch this dissolve. I'm going to pick up here in just a moment. All right, it's been approximately two minutes. I did crumble up the uh, liver of sulfur a little bit and uh, uh, it dissolved very quickly. Here's my piece of previously cleaned copper. Putting it into the solution, you can see how quickly this happens. Now there is, there will be uh, a, a sort of a, a surface darkening going on, and you can see that if I, yeah, it doesn't show up, some of it will rub off, and to make sure that you have a good surface penetration, a little steel wool as you rub it, it'll darken your color and make it more permanent. So that's all that I'm doing now. This is all real time. So you have a, an idea of how long it takes to make this as this dark. If you use a lighter solution, uh, more water, and if you uh, leave it in for a lesser time, you can get varying shades of brown uh, all the way up to what you see here. This is the uh, charcoal color. And uh, we're getting a, a, a real good uh, coloration on this now. Uh, it's not, uh, that surface isn't coming off as readily uh, as it first did. The first uh, uh, first contact with the, uh, the sulfur water here is just a very superficial type of a, a, a coloration. Um, I think this is probably been long enough. Again, this is real time. So all I'm going to do now is take and dry this off. Um, I would rinse it too in clean water. It's very definitely a sulfur smell. I'm going to go rinse this and uh, I'm going to go rinse this and I'll be right back. All right, we've dried the piece off, let it air dry for a little while and has this really nice charcoal tone to it. And if you were at this point going to uh, uh, want to just keep this color, what you would do is to take and uh, treat it with uh, some type of a wax, a hard wax. I like the uh, Renaissance microcrystalline wax. It works very, very good and gives a nice satin kind of a finish to it. But I'm trying to replicate the Roycraft style of copper that was popular back in the uh, 1920s, 30s, uh, even up into the 40s. And so what I have here is a piece of steel wool. This is 3 aught steel wool. Uh, it could even go with a 4 aught, but uh, I don't think we're going to damage the surface too much. And we just start highlighting, bringing out these colors, the copper undertones with the charcoal overtone. The harder you rub, the more copper that comes through.
nice thing about it is is if you mess up you take too much off or you're not at all happy with the uh, the color that you're finally achieved it's very easy to take this before of course you uh, uh, before you you put your wax on it just go ahead and pickle it again in whatever type of a solution you use to clean it initially here's the project completed the uh, copper box was done or ordered by a, a client as a commission the image on the front is uh, their church the copper is done in a, a Roycroft style you can see the difference the nice highlights that we have with the copper and the darkening from that liver of sulfur the intensity and the depth of the color can be varied depending upon how long you let the copper sit in the liver of sulfur solution and also how uh, how strong the solution itself is get that very nice finish by applying renaissance wax a micro crystalline wax which is specifically designed for the preservation of metals and uh, you'll have a long uh, nice deep surface coloration and finish